So, hi guys, and okay, this market this week, it has been quite um, unexpected. There were lots of negative news, and you know, they believe that the black swan has come to destroy both the financial and cryptocurrency markets. So, let's go to the Bitcoin chat, to the PrimeXBT exchange to understand what really happened. Subscribe to the channel right now, because it is very important. We need to follow what's happening. Something strange and very scary is happening right now. Right now like this video and get faster to my telegram chat there we will hide from all this negative news all together so let's take a look at the monthly chat and see that evening star pattern is working very well so far but look what a drop has happened so far and only 10 days of march have passed see how this candlestick recalls past months here and here actually we have defined this level very correctly but let's move on to a smaller time frame the weekly one yes and we actually remember we prognosed the movement to 25 26 thousand dollars well forget about it it will probably happen, but first we need to fix where we are now in the area of $20,000 for a Bitcoin and it is important not to drop lower because then our plans to grow and earn will be actually I doubt it. According to the weekly candlestick, we see that we have already covered all the growth that we had since the second half of January and it's the first time when we fell lower $20,000 for a Bitcoin. It dropped to $19,500. And we have defined this level, let's extend it, and it just coincides with the bottom of this candlestick, and I hope it stays here, but we still have time. So we also remember the past values, we just looked at the monthly time frame, yes, we observed them, let's look at the weekly one. So how this uh, zone worked, yes, there was such a huge red candlestick, and of course it was covered by this green one, and I hope that this actually will not happen again, although everything is possible. And and these are just our hopes, although historically this level was important, but now the price may break through it and fall even lower. So we see a small level below, this line is approximately $19,100, I didn't think that this will be you know, an obstacle, because these two weekly candlesticks just kind of flew by and didn't even notice this level. I think that the current cycle can be passed very quickly. And next zone where the price can move is the zone of $18,000 for a Bitcoin, but now it's important for us to stay in this support zone that we have defined so let's move to the daily time frame we see that a big drop happened so let's talk about why this happened but now we are fixing in the zone here it went a red candlestick with a big shadow down but of course it is now in our support zone and our task you know our supreme goal is to track whether we are fixed in the zone or not so let's think of why the market kind of collapsed so much because what is happening on the market now is something that is difficult to prognose and all these actions really occurred almost at the same time. Well, worst banking segment dumped since COVID-19, top 4 US bank lost about $52 billion in capitalization. Actually, Silicon Valley Bank lost $9.5 billion in capitalization per day after the announcement of fixing a loss of $1.75 billion. Of course, this bank tried to raise 2.25 billion dollars by selling additional shares but it was turned down and the california regulator shut down silicon valley bank this is the first fdic insured bank to fail in two years actually in addition biden called for a 30 percent tax on all electricity used to mine bitcoin and cryptocurrency and also this week the new york attorney's office filed a lawsuit against the kucoin crypto exchange the basis for such was the fact that kucoin opened an account for an american prosecutor despite the fact that the exchange has a legal entity in the seychelles and singapore among other things the lawsuit says that ethereum is a security and all this is an additional signal for the fed that everything is very bad in financial sector actually is now i recommend waiting for their reaction to what is happening although powell's speech has been already this week where he said that premature easing of monetary policy is undesirable at the moment the fed is ready to accelerate the rate hike if the data is negative and actually they are doing it now at the same time the peak bet will be higher than many expect and it's 
it's important to kinda hold such a bet longer. And actually, inflation is higher than expected, according to the data, the peak of inflation hasn't yet been passed. Of course, according to the news, you know that USDC is also experiencing difficulties due to the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank. Issue a circle announced it was holding $3.3 billion in this bank, and now this money is in danger of kind of disappearing and could bring down the USDC. It is currently trading at $0.92. Now let's discuss the following. We see that the price has broken all the EMAs. It has gone below 200, 150 EMAs, and here it's also possible to uh, for a candlestick to form and break through 50 and 200 EMAs. Yes, and this is a price drop signal. Remember, we discussed the RSI and clarified that the level of 40 is very important and if the price breaks it, well, actually, it's a really absolutely undesirable. But we have now gone lower and gone to the zone of 27 and this will is really extremely rare. Look at the big reactions and after that, it was a very big craze. Such situation is really possible, although it was kind of, it's rare events, rare situations, but again, it happened historically and it means that these can repeat again. Now it is very important to watch everything and you know, stick to your risk management because you know here you remember I opened the long position because it was likely that the price would bounce and go higher. I opened the position with a small stop limit and I wanted to know if this position worked out or not. It didn't work out. The trade closed at a loss. Of course it happens. Nothing bad. Now I plan to go long around um, at the area of $20,000. But first, I need to know if the price will fix in this support zone. Therefore, after the price can bounce and fly up to $22,000, and again, we will return to this zone. And if the price doesn't fix and goes below $19,100, then I do not recommend entering the market at all, because the drop can be very strong and very painful, you know? If you want to go short, it is a suicide, because it is, yes? And we also, of course, we approached the Bollinger Bands, but the price is under all EMAs. Yes, negative news is raging now and we need positive news to grow for Bitcoin to grow, yeah? And remember that there will be a Fed meeting on the 20 second uh yes of march and the market will definitely react to it so be careful because here of course we grew very well here we can fall very badly so guys it's been the negative news we really dream about positive news because we want bitcoin to grow to be uh, uh sure about these market situations yes we want to feel confident but we cannot now we are waiting for the fed meeting that will happen on 22nd of March and we will understand can we feel secure or not. So subscribe to the channel and put your like and also in the description under this video you will find the link to my telegram chat and I'm inviting you there because it will give you enough information for making the right decision and sticking to your risk management. Be careful, watch the market situations and I wish you good luck.